Oh boy, we got ourselves here a fraternity movie. The only reason this caught my eye, this movie, was the cast. Looks pretty cool. Alex Wolf. Lewis Pullman. Uh, haven't seen him. I mean, he was in Top Gun Maverick. I really loved him in Bad Times at the El Royale. He seems like a little bit older and kind of a better version of Tom Holland. Not to, you know, he just seems to get better roles and he's like a few years older. He just strikes me as like an older Tom Holland, mainly. I mean, look at, if you see him, I mean. Uh, so yeah, cool to see him pop up and stuff. Alex Wolf, was he the pig guy? Yes, he was the one in Pig. Loved him in Pig. He's... I don't remember him in the new A Quiet Place. He was good in Hereditary, and he was an Oppenheimer? I'm, well, I mean, everyone was an Oppenheimer. Uh, yeah, so he's good. Um, he's good, not like a super fan, but... Okay, don't recognize this kid. Uh, Angus Cloud. I thought Abigail was his last role. I guess it's this. So, I mean, he's RIP, man. He's always going to be interesting seeing pop up in a movie. Uh, and Holly Bailey, the little mermaid herself. Want to see her in more stuff. She's great. So, oh, and John Malkovich? They got John Malkovich? Okay, this is a great cast. Uh, directed by... Ethan, oh boy, okay. Oh, director and writer. Okay, this guy's coming out of nowhere. Nothing. <laughs> Maybe he's done some TV or something. I don't know. All right, what is this movie? Tom, a passionate brother of this fraternity, is charmed by the promises of high social status and alumni connections that open doors, but as a classmate, outside of his social circle named Annabelle enters his life, his devotion begins to falter. Once the scheduled hazing of a new fraternity members comes to a disturbing head, Tom is faced with the decision of a lifetime. Okay. Sounds believable. Let's check it out. We set the tone. Sorry, I didn't mean that reaction. It's striking. I just didn't see it coming, okay? United States of America and Dude. You know, when they were saying Angus Cloud, like, clearly could have played Mac Miller... I saw it. I understood it. But I was like... <sighs> Mac... Like, he looks like Mac Miller. But I was always like... Mac Miller always was such a... Happy-go-lucky, like, smiley-face guy. Angus Cloud, while he looks like Mac, he would have to, like... Change his demeanor and kind of, you know be more smiley he kind of his demeanor is just kind of that slow lazy always kind of stoned personality but i gotta i gotta admit you see him in that backwards hat and the shirt fuck do i see it <laughs> it is pretty undeniable god damn r.i.p both of them and everything in the world this is about respect, this is about tradition, and this is about family. If you want to be a part of the family, you go through it. Always align yourself with only the best. That is the recipe. How you doing? How you doing, buddy? I want to see... Oh, man. This looks good. Just the cast. Premise is good, too. I just want to see John Malkovich interact with Angus Cloud. We think you may have it. In our eyes, you are the cream of the crop. You think that's funny? It ain't funny. 
want you to get something out of this. Relationships are everything. You listen to these walls. This looks fun. Looks fun. You see presidents. You see politicians. You see Fortune 500 execs. You see radical, amazing individuals. Let me see a friend. I wonder if this is supposed to be modern day. I could see that. I don't know. I'm trying to, unless I missed a cell phone somewhere, I'm trying to look for some signs of modern day. This could be in like the 80s or something. Trust me, you don't want to go there. Why not? Captain lives and dies in our house. I'm not your study hooker. I, I really hope this movie is critical of fraternities. I just, look, man, I went to college. Here's, here's what I'll say. I think the only thing being in a fraternity can get you is friendships that could last a lifetime. That's usually the case, and that's a good thing. Uh, but I also think as far as any kind of benefit to your career is in the hopes that you befriend someone in the fraternity that is rich, which there probably is going to be, and their father owns like a hedge fund or something, and you end up getting a job there, and you have those connections to network with in the future. I think those are the only benefits of fraternities. Other than that, I always hated fraternities in college. Friends with a lot of them, you know? Always nice guys. I just would never rush and go through the hazing rituals. I'm sorry. I just, you're not in the military. You're not like this, this brotherhood aspect. For what? You're, you're in college. I just, I just imagine, I, I, I don't know. I just, look, if, if, to each his own. Like, if you're in one, that's cool. Uh, or you were in one. I'm sure there's a lot of benefits socially, but if you already have a friend group, I mean, just for my dignity, I wouldn't be able to, like, sit there and someone be, like, ordering me around and, like telling me to do shit and haze me, I would be like, fuck you. You know, and that's just not my pride speaking or anything. To so I'm just like, there's no, there's no reason. You know, it's like either you guys are going to be my friends or you're not. I'm not, I'm not this, this, this little club. Fuck off. <laughs> I'm just saying. I also knew someone that was in a sorority too, and they used to be like, well, we do fundraisers. Do you? All I'm saying is I'm skeptical. But hey, what do I know? Was there any hazing? Do you want to be part of a family? Do you want to be part of a family? Answer me! Oops. Shit, wait, what was that quote? One of the most accurate films about fraternity life ever made, IndieWire. That's interesting. I mean, I guess this could be modern. I don't know if this is, I don't, I don't know if this is supposed to be modern day. I mean, I guess, I don't know. I don't know if it matters. We'll see. Uh, yeah, I can't wait. Looks, looks really good. I'm gonna, yeah, I think it looks good. I, I'm going to watch it. Love the cast. Interesting to see about the director, though. 
never directed anything, at least from unless he's done TV or was a producer or something, but no nothing listed on Letterboxd. So that's interesting. We'll see about that. So.